five reasons your lawn care company will flop. Reason number one, you don't have a plan. I'm all about helping you guys start a legitimate lawn care business. I'm not the guy that's telling you to go get beer money on the weekends, all right? This is really a business that can thrive and succeed. And I I, I seriously think that um, it's, it's really a, a really solid opportunity for you. So how do you see it through? You need to have a plan in place of how you're gonna get from point A to point B to point C to point D. You don't just wanna say, I'm gonna start a lawn care business. It, Cause it's like, okay, well, what's your first step then? Well, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll just get customers. It's like, okay, how are you gonna get customers? Well, I'll do this I'll, and I'll hit up my neighbor. Okay, sounds good. When are you gonna do that? Oh, uh, I'll plan, I plan on doing that this weekend. You see, that's that's a plan, okay? Before it was just, oh, I, I wanna start a lawn care business. So do you, see, do you see the difference in that? So if you want to have a lawn care business that brings you 60 to 100,000 working by yourself, working six months per year, then you need to have a plan of how you're gonna get there. Reason number two, you don't have the ambition to work hard. Like I said before, you can make a lot of money in a short amount of time, but it's not gonna be given to you for nothing. Okay, it's gonna take you one to two, you know, maybe three years, depending on how much you're, you're committing to it, just to get to the point that you're consistently bringing in those numbers that I was talking about. So, you know, before you can get to the points where you're full and it's either time to stop marketing and just, you know, harvest your current customers or it's time to start growing. But you, you know, you don't, you're not going to get there unless you work hard for it. Um, just point blank period. It's a physically demanding job and it's also requires, um, business knowledge and working with people. So it's the best of both worlds. It takes some time to get to that point, but it is possible that you can get to the point where you're completely booked. And if that's all you want to be, if that's, if you just want to do your own thing, be your own boss, make 60 to a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, working six months per year, uh, you can do it. And, you know, you can get to that point. But my point is you got to have the ambition to work hard and get to that spot. Number three, you have poor customer relations. Okay, you can get as much business as you want. You could be the best salesman. You can close them every single time you talk to a new customer. That's all fine and dandy. But if your customer relations are poor, and they they can't even get a call back and you haven't showed up in three weeks and their grass is a foot tall. How long do you really expect these customers to hold on to you for, man? Like they're gonna find some, they might, they might, you know, they might let you finish cutting their grass for the rest of the season. If it, if it you know, halfway through you start, you stop showing up and you, they can't talk to you on the phone. Um, you're only keeping them for one season. You're, that's it. Think about it. If you were the customer and every time you tried to call your lawn care customers or your lawn care company, no one picked up and their customer relations sucked. Are you really, do you really like look forward to getting a price increase from them next year or even just staying with that company? Probably not. So, um, you gotta have good customer relations if you want to be in this thing long term. Reason number four, you do sloppy work. Lawn care is a really quick operation. It's a lot of in and outs, next customer, next property. What you do on these properties every single time will make or break your systems. What do I mean by that? You need to have an operation in place every time you finish a property. You need to do a quick walk around. Just go walk around the backyard. Take a quick look at the, you know, around the trees. Make sure you got everything because it's really easy to just get in the minutia and just keep going, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I do the same thing all day. You wanna check, you know, do have something in place, even if it's small, something to just double check your work before you drive to the next property. That will save you from having any callbacks and any upset customers, okay? And let's say, okay, I'll just be straight up honest, you're gonna make mistakes, especially when you're new. 
you you know you you're trying to get to the next property you're trying to do a good job but you're going to make mistakes and that's okay how you handle those mistakes though will make or break your reputation in the community if you do bad work and you make mistakes and you do not own up and fix these mistakes and your customers you just tell your customers oh, i'll get it next week yeah I, you know i'll be back next week i'll get it do you really think that they're going to speak well about your company better or even worse do you think that these customers might take the chance to bad talk your company and if that happens what i'm asking what do you think will happen when your customers start talking badly about your company not just on the internet not just on google but also to their peers they they start you know they start trash talking your company name dude that's not good you are sol you want to protect your reputation that is point number four reason number five you're not motivated by the money what do i mean by that what I mean is if you are getting into lawn care to be your own boss and you only ever want to cut grass, you can't stand the thoughts of, of you know, talking to customers, um, negotiating, closing deals, um, billing, collecting money from people. If all of that kind of like makes you kind of tense up a little bit, um, don't do it. Just straight up. Don't do it. Don't be your own boss if you cannot stand the thoughts of having to deal with people. There are lots of really skilled individuals out there, skilled people who love the lawn care trade. Uh, they love cutting grass. They love doing the work. If that's you, man, then go work for a lawn care company. Don't be your own boss or find somebody who can handle all of that from day one. They handle all of it, whether it's your wife or you have a business partner, I don't care. Don't get into lawn care if you don't have the people skills covered or have somebody who can cover the, the people skills because there's a lot more than you think and it's not worth it for you. If, you, if you're miserable every time you, someone talks to you on the phone or you're trying to collect money or anything like that, it's not worth being self-employed and running the risk of getting hurt and not being able to make any income. It's not worth it for you. So what do I mean? You got to be motivated by the money. You got to want to be, you want, you got to see beyond just the cutting grass. You got to see um, the opportunity that you have being self-employed in the green industry is you are your own boss. You set your own hours. You work six months out of the year. If you choose to do that, you see what I mean? That's what you need to be motivated by. The grass is just a tool. The grass is just the product, the product that you sell, um, which gives you the freedom to be self-employed. So you gotta remember that, especially when you're starting out, it's really tough and you gotta just remember why you're doing what you're doing. So those are the five reasons why um, your lawn care business will flop. If, if, you, if you listen to that and you got all that covered and you're like, hey Cam, no problem. You know, like I can handle everything you just talked about. Um, I'm ready to start. What should I do? Um, the first thing I recommend you doing is checking out this video here. Um, that is, or here, I don't know where it is on the screen. It's somewhere on the screen that I just put my, putting my finger towards. Um, check out the video of how to land your first lawn care customers. Okay. Um, it's, it's an advertising method. Uh, check it out. It's really good insights on how you can spend five to 10 bucks and get your first lawn mowing client and start getting that sweet recurring revenue. All right, if that all sounds good to you and you guys want to uh, make it official, first thing I recommend is get a website going, get your name so that you can get on Google and start ranking and start getting people hitting you up from Google and start getting down to zero marketing dollars. So um, if that's what you want to do, in the description, I have a link to um, the website host that I use, it's the best for lawn care business owners. I use it for um, both of my websites and um, it's it's really good. So check them out, SiteGround. Um, there's also some links in the description if you need um, anything like headphones to listen to music while mowing, um, uh, Darwin's grip, which uh, allows you to stand up straight like the king, stand up tall and straight like the king you are or queen. 
and uh, saves your back while you're string trimming. So just check out the description, see if there's anything of interest to you. Um, but until next time, guys, I'm Cameron with startyourlawncarebusiness.com, signing off. See you later.